Hello, and welcome to Elemental Kingdoms. I was playing this game quite a bit on my phone, so I got it to load up on uh, the computer. And I thought, hey, if I record this, maybe we can get, maybe enough people will get, get together for it. And then maybe our voices could be heard, we could get some input in the game as a community. All working together. Hopefully it works. If not, it's still a pretty fun game. I, uh, I clicked past the first sentence, but yeah. As it stands, we haven't got a chance. I need your help. Follow me. This is a tutorial. My name is CNR Plays. Same thing as the channel. It ta it's taking a bit longer to load up and it might lag a bit because I'm uh, processing a video at the same time, so. Take this map and go to the Forest Kingdom. You must convince the elves to join us. They cannot afford to just stand by and watch Ebonhold fall. Why not? We don't have much time. Take your men and go! I am playing on the newer server, called Harmony. As you wish, General. Okay, so we're gonna go to Ebonhold. This game is a... Uh, TCG. Well, it's not really TCG. It's more of CG, I guess. Card game, because there's no trading. I don't know if they're going to implement trading. Personally, I don't really feel like they should. But it's up to them. It's their game. Okay, so what you can do is you can play the cards. You can attack. Usually what I've done is just hit the auto button. Oh, maybe I should just read this to you. If there is a card directly across from the attacking card, it would take the damage and lose HP. If there is no card, the opponent's hero will take the damage. Remember, this is a mobile game, so if the quality isn't as good, if you're on a computer or something, there's nothing I can do about that. Because it stays the same quality even though it's larger, so mine's a bit pixely. But if you're watching this on a phone, it should all be good. Once a card's HP hits zero, it'll be moved into the cemetery. That's right here. If all your cards are in the cemetery, or your hero's HP reaches zero, you've lost the battle. Oh. Uh, creatures. Right now I think I have two or three. I think three. And then they keep attacking. Each one's have different effects depending on... Oh yeah, if you just hit auto, it'll just play it out for you. You can watch it so like smack. But uh, yeah, so if I just click on him, at, at certain levels, the higher the stars, the better the power and all the abilities are. And you could have one right from the beginning for some of them. So yeah, so like if I get him to level 10, it means so like you have to take some cards it's called enchanting in this game. Other card games have it too, where it trying to kind of transfers the stats a bit to so like you get some experience for getting rid of some of your other cards. Apparently this is the starting deck. It's oh, they also have yeah, so this is the cost. This is when you're trying to make your deck. So, the higher your level you are, the more health you'll have, but also the more, like, the higher your cost is that you can put into your deck. On my normal one, I am level 17, and I can go up to 59, or th I think. Uh, this is the type, I believe, so that, Tundra. This is the star, so, like, rarity, I guess. Name, attack, health, abilities, level, and this is how many turns it'll take before you can play it. So like, if it, it was in mine, I have a couple of fours, so whenever I'm about to play, it kind of stays there, like so like, sometimes I don't get to attack on the first turn. But you need to combine it, your deck around that, so like I made it, I also have a guy that will heal my health every little bit. Hey, look what I just found. Ah, a flower bud pixie. Congratulations, you won the flower bud pixie. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it's kind of laggy. I don't know why I'm moving my mouse to show you, because I'm pretty sure it's not going to show up in the video. But, uh, yeah. Uh, experience, health, yeah, so this is a cost limit, I can go up to 16, 
And I, but right now I can only have three cards in my deck. I can go up to 10 at my current levels of 17. I can go up to six. And I also can make two different decks. Once you hit, I think it's, I think it's level 14. I'm, I do not claim to be an expert on this game, but um, yeah. When, uh, I think it's 14, maybe maybe 16, that you're able to make a second deck. So you don't always have to focus on one thing. I'm just gonna hit auto. To let just play it on its own, because unless you're going for a specific, because you have to you have to go back to the levels to get more stars, so it be like becomes like mastered. It's like the mastery type thing in other games. And uh, so and so you have to go back, and there'll be different quests for each one so one could be like you have to destroy all the opponent's cards which is kind of difficult because if you make the opponent's health run out first then you won't be able to destroy all the cards or if you destroy all the cards you won't be able to get the hero's health down to zero if you're trying to do the quest of like kill the hero so you have to plan around that and sometimes you have to just keep some creatures back if you're trying to take down all these creatures so that you can just have them keep battling and if there's no card in front of the person they'll just go directly for the help so like even if say neither of neither of them are there but this but there's a guy still here oh and the, and all the whenever a creature dies it'll the other ones will move down so yeah you'll see that you'll see right now well after he's done attacking that guy has the ability of restores 50, 50 hp to whichever card is taking the most damage so this is what I was saying about how some have abilities right off the bat. And also it'll display it, their abil the abilities they currently have on the card. That's me, level 2. Can I the one? Yeah. Oh, and this is the this is the amount of turns that have gone by. Each turn, same thing as the count on the card, so like 2. That means that the opponent has gone once, so it'll tick every time it switches to the other person. It's not like back and forth and then that's 1. It's one, two, three. Like, like I keep moving my mouse to try to show you guys, but it's not doing anything. Uh, this is the amount of energy you have. Uh, this is where you get deck. This is where you can get, go to the store and be able to purchase some stuff. I apparently have one of these right off the bat. And the fire tokens can pretty much only be used for this. I'd recommend saving up for the booster packs when you get the gems, because it's just better. You get an extra one. And yeah, so I'll, I'll just use the fire token. Hopefully, let's see what our first purchase gets us. <sighs> oh, a magma frost plate. Yeah, I, I think I got the fire token because I used my little code from my other character for this one. I'll make sure that my code is in the description of the video. So if you guys want to start playing, you can just put it in mine. You'll get a fire token of your own and it'll show me how many people are actually coming together in this little community of people who are watching. Oh yeah, so now about the card. See, higher, higher the stars. It costs a lot more though. But it has more health, more attack. Nova Frost. I haven't actually seen this card before. Deals 100 damage to three of the opponent's cards. There is a 35% chance those cards will be stunned for the next round. That means they won't be able to attack. Uh, forest fire increases attack by 135% if the target card is from the forest. I believe mountain is like fire. I mean, even it's kind of got the fire symbols too, so. I just realized when I was doing the description of the cards and pointing out like, okay, so that's Nova Frost. That's, I mean, like that's the abilities, that's the name, those are the levels, that's the cost. And like the symbol. I only just re remembered, you guys can't see the mouse. I really hope that you can actually see the mouse, but... Uh, there's nothing I can do. And Mountain Force 5 increases the attack of all other mountain cards on the battlefield by 125. So this is a pretty nice card. We mainly have Frost cards right now, but yeah. So yeah, you can get 5 cards for 10,000. They might boost this up in the future, you never know. So let's try a Wolf's Wood. Wolf's Wood. I'd usually suggest we go around it. Usually we would be going around the Mist Valley. True, it's too dangerous to walk around. It, 
would mean an almost certain confrontation with the, Sar with the Scarlet Nation. Does anyone else find it odd that we're in Wolf's Wood and yet to see a single wolf? The last person we fought was a wolf. I believe. You are not a keen observer. There was a wolf following us earlier. Huh. Okay. He must have known he would have no chance against us. Oh, and if some of the people watching this know more about this game, or want to help out other, other people who watch it, or just suggest some stuff to me, I love to read through comments, and I'll, I'll try to reply to them, or I might just mention them in the video. About, uh, and like try to make the improvements if you have any or if you have any questions I'll try to ask them if you have any questions I'll try to answer them well, that made no sense okay so yeah just mainly gonna hit auto so then I place the frost gnome is that a frost gnome? I forgot the name snow troll Oh, I might as well explain different abilities. Snipe is when it, at the beginning of every turn before they attack, it will just hit them with the damage. So abilities always happen right before that character attacks. But say there, you have three characters, the ones at the end, the one at the far right one. So like let's say the second snow troll and the first snow troll are both level five so they have their abilities. The second one's ability won't go through until the first one is already attacked. So it'll be ability, attack, ability, attack. Some have like three abilities at once. So that's be pretty crazy. So then the flower pixie and he's got the cat. Yeah, so the different types. The purple one, I'll just click on it to be able to show. It's swamp. There is forest. For, I also have a forest and I also have tundra. There's like three, maybe. F I, I, haven't, I don't even know if I've seen all the different types. But there are quite a lot. I just gotta say that. Feel free to add me on this. And once I get to a high enough level, if we have a strong enough community, I could always make a clan and we don't. We could all be working together on this. Because there's supposed to be clan wars starting up soon. Whenever it gets ready. And we'd be able to, I think we'd be able to do pretty well with that. So we just earned a wild horned lion. Just gotta hit this. Oh, and since we gained a level, we now have another slot to be able to put stuff in the deck. Personally, not a big fan of the snow trolls. Click you. It's a little bit different with the mouse, but yeah. So if we put you in, we have three more available. Now, okay, so I guess we will have to put a snow troll back. But I think putting in the big guy is pretty smart. Yeah, and then switch decks. Currently, we only have one. As I said, the, at a higher level, you get to... Like, I have a second one now in my other character. So hopefully everything will go well. I'll show you the main menu. Oh, okay, I can just click the regular menu. Email. Oh, yeah, the welcome message. Welcome to the wonderful world. Go to the official forum. Okay, return. Return. So, runes album, there's achievements, there's updates log, battle logs. You can go PvP, but we haven't unlocked them yet. Still at my current level, I still haven't been able to go into here. I also still can't join a clan on my other guy, because he's only level 18. And this, these are people talking. Oh, and if anyone has been playing this lately, I only started playing the other one like a few days ago. So it's not that hard to get into. It's pretty fun. But uh, if anyone's cr who's been playing this for a little bit now, my other character, and you might know my other character because I've talked in chat a few times. I even 
freaking yelled at someone who was being offensive to another player. Because I, I don't think anyone should put up with people being assholes. But, uh, yeah, my other character's name is Nelson Reed. One. Just like my Minecraft guy. Uh, friends. No, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Menu. Before I forget, I'm going to turn off the music. I'm going to keep the sound on, though. And you can modify your avatar to match some of your cards. And this thing blinks every time there's new messages. But, yeah, so we have enough money to do stuff. But there's also events. If you max out certain things, you will earn... Oh, and also, just by gaining levels, you get rewards. And the higher up you go, like, the less often you'll get no rewards, but... So, like, at the level I am now, it's every second level. And every so often, it's not just gold, it's other things. And you also get stuff for pur purchasing gems. I like how you can't directly buy cards, but, like, if you do spend enough, you, it's like, okay, you can have this card. It looks nice. There you go. There's also a whole bunch of events. Get booster packs, get free shards. There's dumplings in towers. You, to see a tower, you have to defeat an entire location. They're pretty nice. Uh, the f Twitter thing has already happened, so if you join soon, I don't know when this video is coming up. I'm recording it right now at 10.30 p.m. January 22nd. So, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So I don't know when those are going to be given out. You get gems for all the, all the stuff. You also, I don't know if you still get gems, but on my other character, because it was a few days ago, I got gems for going on the Facebook page, but I've already registered one account to the Facebook page, so. Eh, what you gonna do? So let's try going to the map. And I'll show you guys one of the quest things. Eliminate all of the cards. Okay, so it's, so we don't want to win by killing off the other player. We want to win by destroying all the cards. So we just pretty much auto you can you can make it more complicated if you want to, but you can also just be able to sit back and relax. Just have a nice bit of time. Do other things at the same time. Well, that, that's why it's a mobile game though. So y you could just play it while doing other things. Eliminate all the cards. There you go. And you got some bonus stuff. If there's a little chest next to the thing like this one, um, it means that you're going to get an, a card or there's things called runes, which uh, are like little ability type things. You, currently, even still with my level 17 guy, it is... Uh, I'm just going to auto. It is uh, still only one allowed at a time. The When I can get a second one, it's at uh, level 20. I think that's the same spot where I get to have another card too, so that's nice. I'm pretty sure the quest was to stay above 80% health. Yeah, I think I'm still good. As long as I stay above 800. I just win. I think I just won. Yeah. It's it's only the first world, so they didn't want to make it too hard. Or else people may be like, oh, the fuck, I just started and I've already lost six times. I'm not playing this shit. Oh yeah, and if you actually read those things, it'll tell you what you actually got. So like, there's three more cost things in the deck. And we got, I think it was 90 more health? Maybe 80? I don't remember. Well, I, I didn't really read it. It just kind of passed by for me. Um, yeah, so just get rid of this troll. And now we have six. Oh, and make sure to click this button, the save button, before you're done with your deck. Oh, you know, this guy has a nice ability. I remember him. When s parry and other things like this means that when it gets hit, it will decrease the damage that was that's being taken by 60. And the freaking dodge skill is amazing, depending on the character. Because it just means that everything missed and the increase attack thing, but I'm, I'm not going to level him up. 
Um, I'll probably try to level up the magma guy in a little bit before I end the video just to show you guys what's going on. I'm probably going to make this all one video. There's also explore. I don't really know about that function. That like I don't know very much about it, but uh oh, you also gain one energy every 10 minutes. I keep getting sidetracked. <laughs> oh crap, no, I did not mean to pass. Damn it. I didn't play anything. Oh, whatever. There's most likely a better chance I'm going to destroy all his cards now. Yeah, if you if you see it being laggy, it's not its fault. It's the it's my computer's fault. I don't know if you guys just saw that thing pop up or not. But yeah, as so I was checking my task manager to view the disk usage, it's been a bit better lately. But sometimes it's still pretty bad. Okay, he attacks, then he, yeah, this guy is like a freaking methane thing. Oh yeah, the effects, sometimes it stuns, sometimes it makes it so that after the other character, after the character attacks, it'll take a certain amount of damage. He just heals stuff. Even after all the cards are destroyed, they still keep attacking. But once the turn's over, because you could be able to destroy the cards and kill the guy, but, but yeah. I have no way to finish that sentence. <laughs> now, so win with your hero's HP at 90% or above. It seems simple enough, but sometimes it's rather difficult. Well, it's one of the first levels, so it shouldn't be that difficult. The only problem I've seen it right here is that he's going to have two guys out before I have any more. So he's actually going to deal damage. I don't think that that, 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 no, no, it was 105, I think, yeah, it had to be like 120 something, I don't remember my exact health, oh wait, no, it was 1210, so yeah, it'd have to be 121, I like math, <laughs> but yeah, so I just need to win with this guy's health, staying without, well, without having him have taken 121 damage. Some some battles I remember I really didn't like because it the the opponent's characters you had to stay above a certain amount of health, but you also had to make but his cards or her cards I don't know it's a game. Uh, when they attacked one of your creatures, it had the ability that a certain percentage percentage of that damage got taken out of your hero's points. So it took me forever, and that's why I now have that healing guy on my team. Oh yeah, merge victorious before completing 20 rounds. That means you have to win before the round counter on the left. Which I realized I pointed at you guys. It's the, it's the thing that keeps counting up and has the moon and the sun symbols. And yeah, so you have to beat it before it reaches that number. And since the cards that you draw are, are kind of randomized, just because you won one time doesn't mean you're going to win the next. Because like I've had some pretty close games where I've, where I've lost, and then I went back in, and just the simple factor of the cards being drawn in a certain order made it so that it would like made it so I could win. Uh, actually, I'm going to call it over right after I finish this battle. I'll show you guys how to merge the cards next time. It'll give you a reason to come back. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. Level 5. Have a nice day. Hey guys. I'm back. I just realized I forgot something. Well, for I took the two rewards that I had gotten from leveling up. But that wasn't what I was talking about. I almost forgot about the code. So if you want to join and you want to help out, like, well, pretty much me, but add me as a friend, have a whole bunch of people type in this code, or type in your own if you're inviting your own people. I mean, you earned it. But, so anyone who is watching and wants to play along, and so just add, add me as a friend, 
use this code when it asks you to enter it and yeah so thank you for watching I hope you have a wonderful day or night not really sure and I really like this game so I'm gonna try to keep my uploading like it, it maybe like the other videos maybe like once every like every day maybe every second day so I have exams coming up but I'm gonna try to make this one daily I'm not gonna be 100 percent sure but it seems pretty good so have a nice day see you next time